Hello, my name is Yonis. This is this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to replace Ethan, the default character of Unity, with a different character which we will download from the Asset Store. To get started, let's go to File, New Project. Name your project appropriately. Let's click Create. Right, let's go to Create now. Select 3D. Let's add a terrain. Now we have added our terrain. Let's go to Assets, Import Package, Characters. Let's click Import. Next, we're going to go to the Asset Store. We're going to click Asset Store. And I'm going to search for Character. So, Character. Press Enter. I'm going to click free only and I'm just going to select here the character F. Please note there's a variety of different ca free characters out there which you can actually also import. I'm just going to click download click import And now my elf character has been imported to my project files. I'm going to go back to the scene and then I'm going to click on the standard assets, select characters, double click, select third person, double click, select prefabs, double click, and then click on the third person option. So this is Ethan. So what we're going to do now, we are going to add the elf character. So we're going to click on the character Elf, we're going to click on the uh, prefabs, and then we're going to click and drag the Elf over Ethan. I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm going to hold the Alt key to actually go around so I can see both sides. Okay, I need to bring the Elf further back and further down. I'm going to hold the shift key, so the old key down, sorry, to go round. And I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to hold the old key down to rotate. Okay. And use the, my, my arrows. Okay, let's bring the size of the elf down slightly by clicking and dragging the center square. Well, let's bring the elf back down a little bit. So by selecting the move tool. Okay, that's good. So now I've got the elf directly to Ethan. That's better. Now what I can do, I can actually bring, let's get him a little bit more forward. Yeah. Okay, now what I can do, I can actually remove, bring the character elf to the third person. Now the third person controller contains uh, multiple uh, C sharp file projects which basically have all the animations. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click on the Ethan's body and I'm going to right click and select delete. I'm going to also right click on Ethan uh, glasses and I'm going to right click and delete and finally I'm going to click on the Ethan, right click on the Ethan skeleton and delete. Now, 
With the third person controller selected, I'm going to go here to the inspectors panel. I'm going to scroll down to the avatar. Oops, let's go here to the avatar section. And I'm going to click on this little dot. And then I'm going to select uh, Elf Mesh Avatar. I'm going to click this window. Now, if I actually uh, bring my camera to where the elf is, so let's find the location of the elf here. Let's put here five. Uh, let's put here two. And we're going to select the camera. And I'm going to set the X value to five. I'm going to change the Z value to two. So the camera is directly in the same position as the elf. I'm going to click and drag the yellow arrow to bring the camera just behind the elf. Uh, that this will do. I'm going to lift the camera up a bit. And I'm going to tilt the camera. So there is the way I did this is because I'm holding the old key down and left click and drag. Okay, so I'm going to select the rotate tool and I'm going to click on the red line here. That's better. That's, this will do. Okay, now if I press play and I use my arrow keys, as you can see here, the player has all the mechanics from Ethan. I can jump as well. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is let's stop the video. Click and drag the camera, the main camera, to the third person. So the camera will become a child of the third person controller, which means that if I press play now, I can actually run throughout my terrain and the camera follows my player. Okay, the next thing we need to do is get some environment, the environment package. So we're going to go to assets, click on the import packages, and we're going to select the environment package. We're going to click import. Okay, now we have the environment package in place. I can actually click on the standard assets. So let's use the move tool, click on the terrain. So that's my terrain. I'm going to go here to the raise lower terrain. I'm going to increase the bro size. I'm going to create some mountains here. I'm going to go to here to the paint texture. I'm going to click on the edit textures, add texture. I'm going to click select and type the word grass. And then I'm going to double click on the grass hill and click add. So I've got my grass here. Now I'm going to put some trees. I'm going to click on this option here. So paint trees. I'm going to click on edit trees. Add tree. I'm going to click on this little dot. Trees and the trees are there. They have their own names. Just going to double click here. Click Add. It's going to reduce the size of bros. And I'm going to put a few trees here. I'm going to go to the Asset Store. I can actually download some houses. It's going to type here House. I'm going to click Free. And let's select this house here, Old House. And we're going to click on download. Okay, let's click import. Let's go back to the main scene. Here's the new houses. So I'm going to click on the new. I'm going to double click on house. And I'm just going to bring the house here. Let's place the house somewhere here, as we'll do. Let's hold the old key down and bring the camera a little bit down. And let's rotate. Let's have a look. So you can see the house is dipping here on the little hill. Mountain. Okay, let's. Uh, 
around a little bit. This will do. Just let's rotate a little bit. Put them here. Put the house down a little bit. Okay, the back side of the house will go on the ground due to the fact that the level of uh, the ground is not flat. I can always make it flat. Let's make it flat actually. I'm just going to select the raised lower terrain. I'm going to hold the uh, shift key down. And by holding the shift key down, let's reduce the size of the brush. By holding the shift key down, I will be able to lower the terrain. Okay. So let's use the move tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down. Sorry, the alt key down. So you can see the house is floating. I'm just going to use the move tool. Now I'm going to bring the house slightly down. Okay. This seems okay. If I click play now, see the house here. Okay, as you can see, I can go through the walls. So in order for me to fix that, let's stop it. Let's select the house. Let's go to the add component, layout physics. Let's add mesh collider. Let's press play again. And now if I want to go through the house, I won't be able to. Okay, uh, I can go up the mountain. And I can see the horizon. Okay, the next thing we need to do is uh, put some more grass, some more houses, some more assets. So I hope you've learned something new today. Thank you for watching.